Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss a new topic pointer in C. It is a very very important topic. It is little bit complex but it is very very important topic in C programming. In the previous lecture I talk about dynamic memory allocation where I talk about the uh, malloc function, calloc function, realloc function, even I talk about free function and even I have also discussed about the preprocessor directory. I have discussed file inclusion, I have discussed macro expansion, macro substitution and conditional preprocessor directory, I have discussed. But this topic is totally different from the previous one. We will see later that one of the advantage of pointer to allocate dynamic memory allocation, we can access the memory directly. So, later I will discuss about this. So, in this chapter I am going to cover so many topic. First what is pointer, how it is work in C, how to declare pointer variable and how to initialize the pointer variable that is very very important that part is very very important because if you do not know how to declare a pointer and you cannot access the pointer in your program and what are the operator that are used with pointer, what are the operator used with pointer. So, we will see discuss about the ampersand operator, we will discuss about star operator and I will explain with an example that how can I access this uh, address of operator and value at address operator with an example so that you can get the clear idea how to use those operator by using pointer. And I will explain pointer arith, uh, expression and pointer arithmetic. Those it is not important, but it is recommended to know about that uh, how to use the arithmetic operator. So, it is a few of the increment and decrement operator we can use, but I will discuss with an example so that you can get the clear idea how to use the arithmetic operator in your pointer. So, I will discuss a program with the name of the program is swap two numbers without using third variable using I will I am just going to solve this problem by using pointer. So, that you can get the clear idea how to use the pointer to write a general program. So, that is one of the advantage you can see in this example. Then I will discuss about the precedence and associate associativity of pointer. So, whether the first bracket will become first or second bracket, third bracket, data type. So, everything I will discuss about this precedence and associativity of pointer and I, I also uh, discuss how to read the pointer. If so many uh, first bracket, uh, um, array subscription operator, bracket operator is present, how to read this pointer, I will discuss. Then I will move on to the few complex topic. This topic is very very important in the sense that you have to know how to use pointer in your array or what is called pointer to an array because this concept is very necessary because most of the time we use array and pointer is, uh, uh, is very very useful in our array program. If I want to use any uh, array then it is very very important to use the pointer even uh, whenever we talk about the pointer arithmetic it will see that the advantage if I use an array then I will get the much advantage of pointer arithmetic. So, I will discuss pointer to an array, pointer to an function, to a function and I will discuss how to pass a pointer to a function. I will explain with an example, same example by using function, uh, even you can answer this question by using call by reference using pointer. So, call by reference uh, swapping two number by using pointer. So, that program is very very important, but that example is very very important for your exam also. And I will discuss pointer to structure because most of the time you will see that uh, whenever we use uh, 
the pointer uh, to implement or build complex data structure like structure, queue, stack, even uh, tree, graph, we use frequently use pointer. So, I will discuss how to uh, what does mean pointer to structure, how to use it and even I will discuss about the self referential structure, why it is called self referential structure then I will discuss. And another important point we will see topic that is pointer to pointer or uh, sometimes we call double pointer. I will discuss with an example so that you can get the idea how to use the double pointer. Even at the end I will discuss null pointer, what is the use of null pointer, why we declare the null pointer, even void pointer and what is the size of pointer that topic will be discussed. And at the end because I am just uh, telling this topic at the end so that after completing all those topic you can completely get the idea what is the advantage of pointer. That is why I just put in the back so that you can get the clear idea after getting all the knowledge, all the concept regarding this pointer then you can ex at least you can uh, clarify those advantage and disadvantage of pointer. Okay. So, let us start with pointer. what is pointer? Most of the time everyone will ask you what is pointer and it is a simple answer you can give the simple definition and uh, most of the time in interview they will start with this question what does mean pointer? Pointer is a variable right just like you have seen variable concept simple variable, but here pointer is a variable that store the address of another variable. So, let me write this definition one line definition so that you can get the idea. A pointer is a variable, pointer is a variable, first thing you have to remember it is a variable that store the address of another variable that is my formal definition. Here look at this first we have to remember that pointer is a variable one of the point and that store the address of another variable. Okay. Here that variable can be of int any type, it may be int, it may be character, it may be array, it may be function or even other pointer also. So, store the address of another variable means it may be int, it may be char, it may be array, it may be function or any other variable. Unlike other variable that holds the value of certain type, pointer holds the address of the variable that is the important point you have to remember, you need to understand this thing. For example, uh, in an integer variable holds or you can say store an integer variable value. However, when I talking about the integer pointer that holds the address of an integer variable, right. So, a simple example, I am just demonstrate simple example to understand how to access the address of a variable without a pointer. Then you can get the clear idea of what are the uh, operator is used in pointer and why pointer come into your picture. So, let me write a simple program that how can I, how can I access the address of a variable without a pointer. Okay. So, that example I will discuss with a without a pointer. So, let me write a simple example as include stdio dot h and not every time I am going to write has include because you already know 
int main okay and suppose i have declared int number so num equal to 10 right and then if i want to print the value of this variable i have to use the printf statement so the value of variable value of variable is percentile d num and if i want to know the address of this variable if i want to print our computer screen so address of variable num is percentile p you know the percentile p is a format specifier which is used for displaying the address in hex format right hex decimal format because we know that address is hexadecimal format so that is why I am just writing let me write return 0 return 0 so now look at this we already familiar this is a ordinary declaration of a variable ok int num equal to 0 a uh, num equal to 10 so what does mean it means if I graphically see what will happen in our computer memory. So, first this is the name of the variable is num right. So, this is the name of the variable ok. So, variable name we can write variable name and then suppose int num equal to 10. So, value is 10. So, that is the value of variable or value of num. So, that is name of the variable, this is the value of the variable and suppose some address x 300. So, I am just making it simple, I am writing a simple one, uh, you will get a long number hexadecimal number, I am just making it simple so that you can get the idea. So, that is actually the address of the variable. So, we can write address of num right. So, this is the meaning of this line. So, int num equal to 10 means name of the variable is num and value is 10 and it will store in our computer memory in some memory location that is the address. So, some memory location address. So, if I run this program what you will get? I will get the value of the variable percentile d num. So, I will get 10 and address of the variable is ampersand num. So, we know it we have already used the scanf function. So, we can use the ampersand operator in our C program. So, you can get that I will get the address for example, I will get 6300 right. So, that is a simple program. So, if I do not use a pointer do not use a pointer. So, how can I access the address of a variable that means I want to access where the variable is has been stored in our computer memory right this is a simple program later i will explain with that how pointer works in c so that you can get the idea of how to initialize the pointer variable and how to declare a pointer variable okay so next topic is how pointer works how pointer works in c So, a pointer is declared by putting asterisk before the variable name ok. So, how can I declare a pointer? So, we can write uh, for example, this is my int then var. So, what does it mean actually it is variable declaration right. So, this is the normal variable declaration. you already familiar with this one, but here I am talking about the pointer. So, how can I declare a pointer by star p t r. So, star is a operator 
so later we will know about what does mean star so right now you have to know that i have to use the ptr uh, any any name you can give any identifier so it means that is pointer declaration so that means how do i declare a pointer i have to use the data type if i write a general syntax so syntax syntax first we have to write the data type then star then then variable name then star okay acha you can write write star you can write even here also no problem right or you can write in between also no problem okay so let me write some other example so can we can get the clear idea let me write some other example suppose i am writing int okay so one of the way we can declare a pointer for example p1 is my one of the pointer and if i write another data type for example double then i can even use star here also okay we can write here also even if i write care even i can use uh, here also okay so you can use anywhere so let me write another pointer so star t4 basically we use this one star is associated with this the variable name so this is my pointer declaration so how do you declare a pointer okay now what does it mean actually if i declare int star p1 what is the meaning of this line but where i have declared a pointer declaration in star ptr so ptr or p1 is a pointer to an integer variable here for example p2 is a pointer to an double variable here we can write say that p3 is a pointer to character variable or you can write simply pointer to in pointer to double pointer to char even pointer to float so in this way we can read it okay no problem so we can use any of the syntax basically we prefer this one okay prefer this one even we can do in this way in this way we can do that so consider a following example uh, for example suppose i have declared in this previous example we have seen that i have declared a variable num okay and we have i have assigned the value 10 we already know that right so in the in this i am just taking the same example so num is on my variable and 10 is the value of this variable right so here we can understood that the value of the variable is 10 and address of the variable is x300 right so now suppose i am just declaring pointer now we know how to declare pointer so in i am taking two pointer for example i am taking you can make it in a single line also ptr1 just like declaration of ordinary variable and i am just taking another variable ptr2 so that is also a pointer variable how do i know it's a pointer variable so we already know that if i place the star at the front of the variable name so then we can understand this is a pointer variable right so this is two pointer variable now that is my declaration pointer declaration right and how do i initialize a pointer then because you already know that so uh, we also know here the initialization and declaration at a time if i consider our normal declaration of variable we write int num that is my declaration and if i declare num equal to 10 so that is my initialization that means i am putting some value to this variable or you can say i am assigning value to this variable right so here i have just declared a pointer but i have not initialized the value of this pointer so how can i initialize the value of the pointer and even from the shift definition we can say that pointer is not a ordinary variable pointer is a variable which can hold the address of another variable so the value of the pointer is the address right so value of address is a pointer is a variable and which can hold the address of another variable so means value of the pointer is very uh, address not 
ordinary value. So, if I want to declare this is my pointer, so how do I know in the previous example we know that how do I access the address ampersand then followed by num right. So, I have to initialize I have to initialize the pointer with address. So, how can I write suppose I have write ptr 1 ampersand of num right. So, what that means the address of this pointer address is assigned to this pointer ptr 1. So, if you if you think logically uh, visually you can show that. So, this is my num variable and this is the value is 10 and for example, this is my address and if I declare a pointer that is also a, a variable. So, this is my name of the pointer is ptr 1 right ptr 1 and what is the ad content or value of this pointer after this line. So, address is x 300 means this pointer is pointing to this address right and suppose it is a variable we know that whenever you declare a variable it takes some space in our computer memory. So, that is why it has also an address right. So, this is the address of ptr 1 pointer 1 and this is the address of normal variable. So, in this line it means that we are just creating a pointer point to this address this pointer variable is point to this address that is the that is the way how we we initialize the value of the pointer right. So, uh, so, so far we have just assigned a pointer variable right. So, now if I write line like ptr 2 equal to ptr 1. So, that means the value of ptr 1 is also assigned to value of ptr 2 right. So, I am just also taking a pointer so, name of the pointer is ptr 2 and what is the value of ptr 1 x 300. So, x 300 is also is pointing to this variable right. So, suppose this address is 1 to double 0. I am just taking this address for simplicity so that you can get uh, get the idea uh, here may be some hexadecimal long number. So, so, we have assigned the value of pointer p t r 1 to p t r 2. So, the both p t r 1 and p t r 2 refer to the same address right p t r 1 p t r 2 both refer to the same address and the value of this memory location is for p t r 1 x 300 that is also x 300 but because means both pointer pointing to this same variable. So, the value of p t r 1 and value of ptr2 is same of we can say value of num value of num so if i change the value of ptr1 or we can say value of ptr2 so the value will be changed what is the value of ptr1 right ptr is pointing to this variable and the variable point to this num variable so if i change 10 suppose it is 10 uh, change to 10 to 20. So, that will also reflect. So, right if I want to access star p t 1 value at p t r 1. So, it will give me 20 also and star p t r 2 that is also change 20. So, if I are, so if any place if I change the value of this num variable that value will be reflect to our p t r 1 and p t r 2. So, that is the basic idea how the pointer works. So, in this topic how pointer works I have just uh, I have just mentioned about how to declare a pointer. So, that means how do I declare a pointer and how to initialize this pointer ok. So, I have already discussed about pointer declaration and pointer initialization and next I will discuss what are the operator are used in my pointer? What are the operator are used in pointer? So, we have a two operator. So, 
So, one of the operator is called address of operator, address of operator ok and you can define by using ampersand sign right. So, we have already seen that if I use printf, printf, printf and address of, address of I have already seen num is percentile p if I want to print then this is my ampersand operator right num we have seen this one, this one ok. So, the address ampersand operator is also known as address of operator you can see from that. So, here if I write ampersand of p 1 means address of this one ok what is the value right. So, address of this one so it will print 300. So, address of num means x 300, address of p t r means x 600, address of p t r 2 means x 1200 right. So, we are familiar with address of operator. So, how to store the address in some variable? The next question is we know how to access or get the address of a variable by using ampersand operator. And the next question obviously, the next question is how to store that address in some other variable. I have also done it. So, how to store or give the value of pointer like this, this one, this line. Okay. As I mentioned in the beginning pointer is just like a another variable that means the difference that, that the main difference is that is stored the address of another variable rather than its value. So, this is my second question answer. So, how to store the address of some other variable. So, here this is the way how can store the address of other variable right and second operator is which is associated with the pointer that is called value at address, value at address and it is defined star value at address means star operator ok. So, we are uh, we know how to declare a pointer. So, suppose I am writing in star p 1. So, p 1 is a pointer. So, that is p 1 is a pointer. So, if you need a pointer to store store address of integer variable, then data uh, data type of integer should be int because I have already mentioned that here int means this pointer is going to uh, take that data type uh, take the address of integer variable right. So, because I have already mentioned in the definition that when you talking about the floating point. So, it means that same case with the other data type also. So, if I declare float, so that means that pointer is going to take the address of float variable. By using star operator we can access the value of a vari variable by through a pointer also. For example, I have declared int a equal to 10 right. So, it is ordinary variable and then if I declare a pointer int star p for example, this is my pointer declaration, this is ordinary variable declaration, this is my pointer declaration. So, if I write p equal to address of a we are already familiar with this one. So, I am not, not, not writing this one. So, here if I want to, if I want to star p then if I write printf, printf percentile d and if I write star p that means value at address ok. So, let me let me uh, let me draw a simple picture so that you can get the clear idea. Uh, suppose the name of the variable is a and this is my value 10 and suppose this is the address 400 of this variable a ok. Now, I have declared a pointer. So, this is my pointer p and the p equal to ampersand a means address of a. So, here address is x 400 
it means this variable is pointing to this address and uh, it may be some other address which is taken by this variable p and here I just put star, star means value at address, what is the address x 400, the value at address means it will print 10, value at address that is value at address, so it will print 10, right, so output will be 10. Similarly, if we want to assign a value by pointer or star operator, like this we can change. For example, if I write p star p equal to 200, so that means value at address equal to 200. Value at address, what is the address of p? So, address of p is 400, uh, p is pointing to this address 400, so that value will be changed. So, similarly, we can access the value at address even we can change the value of the variable. So, it, it will change the variable value a and the statement with above we change the value of a 10 to 200 right 200. So, so far we discuss about what is pointer, what is how, uh, how to declare a pointer how to initialize a pointer and how pointer actually works. So, that means we have declared memory representation so that you can get the clear idea how the pointer is works. Even I declared the how to declare one pointer variable to another pointer variable. So, we can say that multiple pointer pointing to the same object and same variable and if value of this variable is changed that will affect to this all the pointer that referring to this variable that reference to the variable. So, in the next lecture, I will explain with an example demonstrating the use of this ampersand operator with an example and the value at address operator I will discuss in next lecture. I will also discuss about the point pointer arithmetic and pointer expression and so uh, I will explain a simple exam also, uh, by how to use pointer to swap two numbers without using third variable, I will discuss in my next lecture.